This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at condensation and hydrolysis reactions. We'll start by looking at condensation reactions. A condensation reaction is a chemical reaction in which two molecules react to form a larger molecule with the loss of a small molecule, usually water, forming a covalent bond. Here we have two small molecules. We can call them monomers. We have monomer A and monomer B. Each molecule possesses two reactive functional groups. The OH on one molecule and the H on another molecule react together to form a molecule of water. The two molecules are then bonded by a covalent bond. Next we look at biopolymers. Biopolymers are long chain molecules formed in condensation reactions. To form a biopolymer, each molecule or monomer must have two reactive functional groups. Here we have an example of a biopolymer which is made of alternating monomers A and B. The monomers are bonded through condensation reactions in which a molecule of water is released. Here we have an example of the biopolymer starch which is composed of glucose molecules. Each glucose molecule is bonded to the next in a condensation reaction in which a molecule of water is released. Next we look at hydrolysis reactions. A hydrolysis reaction is a chemical reaction in which a water molecule reacts with a large molecule breaking the covalent bond and forming two smaller molecules. So here we have our biopolymer made from alternating monomers A and B. In the reaction with a water molecule the covalent bond between the monomers is broken forming two small molecules monomer A and monomer B. Hydrolysis reactions are catalyzed by enzymes in the human body. They also take place in the presence of an acid or an alkali. Here we have the alkaline hydrolysis of a triglyceride which is called saponification. We'll look at this reaction in more detail in a later video.